tattoos. Should you get them? Should you not? I mean, they're kind of cute. They're pretty. It's like wearing art on your body. You don't have to go to a museum. The museum is with you all day or day, right? But no. Dr. D. Nice says, tattoos, eh -eh. And I'm going to give you seven good reasons why you need to leave that to them other people. Let's get right into it. But before we do, remember, please like the video. Why not? You're here. You're enjoying the subject matter. And turn on your notifications. We're live every Wednesday. Of course, today you notice that this video isn't live. I was going on a field trip with my son, my middle schooler, and I had to pre-record this. Don't matter though. Still a good time. All right, number one. Number one reason why tattoos are not for you. I'm going to have to get medically. You're damaging your skin. Your skin is the largest organ that you have. It is the boundary between you and the rest of the world. I mean, like after your skin, there's the outside world. There's nothing else like your skin and then everything else. Why are you going to want to hurt that? That's protection. You are putting holes in your wall, holes in your... Y'all don't, don't not even creasing your nikes. And you want to put a tattoo on your skin? Come on now. The, your skin is your boundary. You damage your skin. You are going to affect your ability to fight off disease. Point blank. I would like for somebody to fight me on this one. They may not be... Listen, we're not even going to worry about it. You're damaging your skin. You're messing up your protection. All right. Number two. I mean, can I just be frank? It makes your skin look dirty. You've seen it. I mean, especially if you're standing from too far or if it's an old tattoo that's wearing off a bit. Your skin looks dirty and you can't wash it off. It's, it's just not pretty. There's nothing that looks better than good, well cared for, glowing skin. You do not need these things on it to make it pretty. Maybe people are getting tattoos because their skin's bad. I don't know. I know there's a lot of cultural things are associated with some tattoos. Even those, it's not necessary. Your skin is protection. Number three. I mentioned there may be some cultural things. The truth is, bottom line, Western world, America, where we live in right now, it's trendy. And don't even tell me that, no, that's not why I did it, Dr. D. Nice. I've always wanted one. Where did you get the idea from? Did you come out of the womb wanting a tattoo? No, it's trendy. It's cultural. Somebody indoctrinated that, put that thought in your head. You see the basketball players, the rap artists, the girls, the the BBL girls on the gram, the rock band, all of them. Because you see them, you want to emulate them. There is a covetousness inside, a subtle covetousness inside you that makes you want a tattoo just like them. If I get a tattoo, I can be like them. That is a basic bottom line, what your brain is thinking, why you decide to get it. This is stuff that you lay in your bed and think about. You may argue with me right here, right now. As I said before, lay in your bed, think about it. And if you're honest, that is the exact reason you're being doct indoctrinated to want this thing. You ain't come out the one wanting it. Number five. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant number four. Number four. You, suppose you have to have them removed. There are a lot of people that, you know, they come to Jesus, they got a job, they get something on their face, they have something in a strange place, they had somebody's name that they swore they just loved and would never part from, the relationship broke up, now this tattoo has to be removed. Have you seen a tattoo removal? It's not 
that good. It's painful. And in the end, it's not 100% gone. There's still remnants of it left. They're hard to re remove. And if you choose to get a tattoo, make sure you get something that, well, you know what I was going to say, make sure you get something that you won't want to remove. But at the moment when people are getting stuff, they are not even thinking, you're not even thinking about later on that, oh, I'm going to want it removed. You're not thinking that. Just don't do it. All right, number five. Trust issues with the artist. You have seen those when the people ask for something in a different language and somebody came along and was like, that's not what that means. Google it. You will see it. They have, it had happened before. When you are getting these tattoos, you got to put a lot of trust in this artist. Suppose they're having a bad day. They may have had a string, hundreds and hundreds of amazing tattoos and they get to you and that's the day they're having a bad day and just mess you up on something that's going to be permanently on your body. Hmm. I've got trust. No, I don't have trust issues. I don't. No, I trust a lot of people. I'm just not going to get no tattoo. Dr. D Nice has no tattoos and no piercings. And I'm cool. <laughs> All right. Number six. <laughs> this one. Okay. Kim Kardashian. I know you rolled your eyes. Kim Kardashian. She said it. You wouldn't put a sticker on a Bentley. You know, I heard her say that. I'm pretty sure it was, what is, what is it? Wendy Williams that was interviewing her. I can't remember who was interviewing her when she said that. And I was, uh, you know, facts. Speak it, girl. It's true. If you consider yourself that valuable, why would you put something like that on your body. You would never put a sticker on a Bentley, a bumper sticker on a Bentley or a Bugatti. You won't, I, like I said at the top, you will not even crease your Nikes. You're walking all kinds of strange ways to protect these Nikes and you're putting a uh, tattoo ink injected permanently underneath your skin. No, that don't make, make that make sense. Number seven. There are better ways to remember people that you love. Some people put that on as a memorial. Are you a gravestone? Are you a cemetery? No, there are other ways to remember people. You don't have to be walking with dead people on your body like that. If you want to remember your loved ones, go right ahead. Putting them and applying them to your body is not the suggestive matter. Me method. Yeah, it's not the suggested method. Um, you know what? If you're a Christian too, the Bible talks about tattoos. I could make that like an eight. Eight. I don't even have an eight here. There is a Bible verse that says not to mark up your body. No tattoos. All right. Let me know what you all think about tattoos in the comments section. 